boys. Get up. Get up, boys. Get up. Whoa. That's a nice horse. Aren't you going to train your horse? No. Well, every horse has to be trained for something. All I want to do is ride my horse. Well, if he's only for riding, he's called a saddle horse. But even saddle horses have to be trained. Well, what do you do? Teach them tricks? <laughs> no, not exactly. You boys want to hear how they raise saddle horses? Sure do, Grandpa. Well, come on over, I'll tell you a story. Now, this is a story about a special saddle horse and how he grew up. You know, in some places, there are big farms where a lot of horses live. And on those farms, there are pastures. Well, in one of the pastures lived a little baby horse. He was very young and almost always hungry. So he drank mother's milk. His name was Pride. Because Pride was so young, his legs were a little weak. And he decided to lie down. It was nice to lie there with mother nearby. But even then, a small noise frightened him. Later, they went to the pasture. Pride stayed close by mother. Here, Pride saw all the other horses that lived on the farm. Before long, Pride and his mother ran and laid across the pasture. And when the horses got hungry, they went where tender grass grew. Pride's mother showed him how to nibble the good grass. He learned how to use his lips to get a firm hold and bite off the grass near the ground with his front teeth. Some of the young horses had already learned to eat grass, but to reach it, they had to spread their long legs. After eating, they drank some cool water. Another treat for Pride was the salt block. He licked it. The salt tasted good. When Pride was six months old, it was time to leave his mother. At first, he missed her very much. But soon, he didn't mind, because other young horses played with him. What was that strange noise? It was the farmer with his mowing machine. This machine was cutting the weeds along the fence. Pride and his friend took one look and away they galloped across the pasture. They couldn't get far enough away. At last, they slowed down and looked around. What was this strange thing, they wondered? Pride was curious about everything. Finally, it was time for Pride to get some new shoes. These were made of iron, and each one was carefully fitted. They were fastened on with nails. But Pride's feet were hard, and this didn't hurt him at all. Finally, the nails were filed to make them smooth. With new shoes, Pride was ready for his first lesson. He was to learn how to hold his head up straight. The trainer used a rattle to teach him. This scared Pride. But soon he was not afraid and held his head high. Time passed quickly and soon Pride was one year old. He and the other horses ate lots of the juicy grass which made them grow. Pride rolled over to scratch his back. Oh, that really felt good. Some days, Pride ran with the other horses in a herd across the rolling pasture. 
Some days he just stood and wondered what he would do when he grew up. He didn't want to be a circus horse and do tricks. Or be a policeman's horse. Or be a trotting horse. Or be a cowboy's horse and help to herd cattle. He didn't want to be a race horse. Or be a jumper or be used on a farm. He wanted to be a saddle horse. The other horses got lessons too. The trainer chose a very light saddle. This he put on the horse very carefully so he wouldn't be frightened. After this, the trainer tightened a strap which held on the saddle. Pride's friend was surprised and a little frightened. The helper walked him around and around so he could get used to the weight of the saddle. After a while, the trainer got on him. The trainer gave him a gentle pat to show him there was nothing to fear. Around and around they went until the horse got used to a man riding him. After they were finished with the lesson, the trainer put a horse blanket on Pride's friend so he wouldn't catch cold. After this lesson, Pride and his friends knew that they were saddle horses and that people would ride them. Pride decided he would try to be a champion saddle horse. And then Pride got a new teacher. It was a girl. Every day they worked, and before long, Pride could do the gait called a walk. Trot was a little faster. This was harder to do because of the way he must move his feet. And then the canter. First the front feet moved together, and then the hind feet moved together. Pride learned his lessons well from his teacher. At last, the owner of the farm said that Pride was so good he could be in the horse show. The day of the horse show came. First, the people looked at the younger horse. Then everyone saw the pony and the trotting horses. Finally, the saddle horse contest started. And there came Pride. He held his head up high. Everyone looked at him as he passed. Finally, it was time to judge the horses. Pride won the prize. Pride stood straight and proud. He had worked hard to learn. His teacher was proud of him, too. Of all the horses in the show, Pride was the champion. And that's the end of the story. So Pride was a saddle horse, just like yours then. Let's see the teach him how to gallop. Yeah, Pride, yeah. <laughs>